Hey, hello everyone. Uh, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to another video. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about the MongoDB administration series which we are doing. So, in this video, we are going to talk about something called TTL indexes. Okay. So, so far, like we have covered installation, database creation, collection, creation, how do you insert documents, how do you modify them, delete them. And in our recent video on this series, we talked about um, how do you create a capped collection. So at the end of the video, I talked about like MongoDB has a special option where you can automatically set up data archival process. Okay. So TTL index is something which is going to provide that functionality. That is what we are going to see today. So TTL is nothing but time to live. Okay. So you're going to basically define and say like for how long your data or your document is going to stay in the collection. That's what you define in the collection. And within the given time, if that time period is crossed, it's going to remove your document okay, from the collection. So that is what this TTL index is going to do. That's just a high level definition of what it does. So now let's see it in action. I'll show you like how you can create how you can play with it. So let's see it in action. Okay. Let me switch my screen. Okay. I have my instance running. Okay. Uh, this is the instance which I'm going to use. And I have created a database. Okay. Called TTL demo for this uh, demonstration. If let me see. Okay. I already have a collection called uh, um, service log. So let me drop that. Okay. So that it will be like from doing it from the scratch. So now I don't have any collection collections in my database. Uh, for the sake of this demo, I had a simple insert statement which was created just to load some data. I just have like three records in this. Okay, if I do db dot service log find, just to you can think of like this collection is going to uh, have some real time logs which your application is generating. For example, so I just have this series of events saying like uh, service terminated, then service started, then service stop. So I can again do the same insert maybe after a few seconds. And right now we have some data. Okay. So you can see like this, this is the set of logs, which is written and just keep a note on, keep an eye on this timestamp. Okay. So it is like 1934, 20 seconds. And this is like 1934, 55 seconds. Now, uh, this is just a normal collection, which we just created. Okay. So now we'll see like how you can create or you can add a TTL index to it so that we are going to delete data based on a time. So to uh, one of the basic, uh, one of the uh, prerequisite to create a TTL index is your collection should, I mean, in your document should have a timestamp column. Okay. So if you take a closer look to the insert statement, so here we have something called runtime, which I'm inserting with the current date. Okay. So that is what you see here. Runtime is, it is printing the timestamp. Okay. Like in SQL server, how we have get date function. So in MongoDB, you have this where you can say new and date function. You can call that's going to print the timestamp. Okay. Now <clears throat> we are going to create a TTL index on top of this column. Okay. Where you have this timestamp different or timestamp value present. So how do we create? So again, like uh, this is just uh, I thought like it's good to continue after the capped collection. Still indexes again. We, I'll try to cover it in a separate topic. Maybe after this, I'll have I'll talk about index in the next video. So don't worry about syntax. It is like pretty much uh, simple, I would say. 
so first let's call the service log and i'll say create index and i'm going to define like on what column i'm going to create the index so in this case it's going to be runtime and i'll say whether it is ascending or descending then i'm going to define the uh, expiry date or up to what time the given document is going to be valid so i'll say expire after seconds so this is in seconds okay and maybe i'll say like expire anything older than maybe uh, 30 seconds okay so once i create this okay now i we got our index created so how do you check if you have your index so we have a separate command for that and now i have my index where i have set expire after seconds as 30 okay now that we have this index let's go and query it so let's see now ideally this record should expire so internally mongodb has a background thread which wakes up in a frequent a specific interval and it does the clean up okay it will check what all records are expired and then it's going to delete it so let's wait for some time so that runs i think uh, by default that thread runs for every 60 seconds okay so since that like just now we have enabled this let's wait for some time ideally it should trigger and uh, it should clear the logs so let's wait and see db um, dot let's quickly check the index i just wanted to cross check it again expire after seconds yeah this looks fine let's wait for some time Okay. This is still there. Okay, so let's see. While this is getting executed, right? We'll try to see like what is happening with our TTL thread. Okay. Uh, let me do one thing. So we have. So in this admin database, we have few parameters which will define that. Let's do an admin command. and i know like uh, i haven't talked about these things so here you can query you can run admin command and set like what value you are looking for so i know there is a separate uh, parameter for this ttl monitor let's quickly check that monitor sleep i think okay wait parameters so this thread takes up for every 60 seconds okay and uh, it does the clean up let's quickly check okay i still see this data mm okay let me quickly see what was the index so uh, expire after seconds okay let this be okay now we know like this is the default things so it's good that it's not uh, deleting let's try to troubleshoot and see what is happening okay now uh, we know like this is the thread so let's query this server status we have a metric for ttl let's query that so this value i believe your ttl thread is running for every 60 seconds you should be seeing this getting incremented so whenever a successful uh, execution is done or a scan is done this value gets incremented let's see if this is getting incremented if this gets incremented then yeah we should be good ideally okay this is one place where you can 
come and monitor things and another option is okay uh, we have something called uh, logging level okay so you could also enable verbose logging so that it gets logged to your um, this thing uh, mongodb logs okay so let's quickly check what is there as well i'll quickly show you mm, let's see okay now you see like this got incremented to 41 i'm hoping this should have done the cleanup now let's see no it didn't okay so let quickly check if we have created the index on the correct column I am sure it is. Let's quickly check that once. Run time. Expire after seconds. Service log. Create index. I just want to make sure like we are not missing anything. Expire after seconds. Okay. This looks fine okay now you see like this data is gone so i was also kind of surprised like why this didn't happen but yeah that's how you actually troubleshoot as well so this is one place where you can come and look so this thread wakes up for every 60 seconds and it comes and deletes it now let's try to insert this data again maybe let's do a find now i have three only three records so it is inserted at 9.43, okay. Uh, let's see, right now the number of passes is 42 and uh, maybe I will quickly go ahead and enable this verbose logging as well. So to do that, I'll set log level and uh, maybe before I set, maybe I'll quickly show you what log level is, okay. Uh, I am querying log components, get log components and this is what I am interested in, okay. So index verbosity is set to minus 1, okay. Let's go ahead and set it to, you can set something from 1 to 5 depending on the verbosity. Now I will say set log level and uh, it is going to be for index and let's execute it now let's run this command again and we'll quickly check okay now we got this verbosity set to one and let's also quickly check what we have now this is in 43 right let me go here and query okay still this is there uh, wait what value is i have set an index Let's quickly check. Get index. Okay, this is fine. Now, uh, I have the command here handy. Okay, so that we'll know like what is happening. Now, what I just did is I'm just query. Uh, checking my mongodb log file and i'm grabbing for ttl okay and you can see like 945 it has done the scan and this is like way back let's try to query okay you don't see it okay and uh, if i come here i'll see like this is also passing now you might be thinking like if whether we can change this behavior because running it for every 60 seconds in few cases it might be okay but in few cases you might feel like it is okay to run every one hour or every one day also okay so yes you can change that okay uh, let's try to change that uh, so this is the uh, uh, let me go again like you have to go with the db admin command okay let me quickly show you how you can change this um 
so initially okay let me try to modify the existing command itself that would be easy instead of get parameters i'll say set parameter and uh, the value what we had is 60 now like i'll just change it to 10 so that it's going to change for every i mean it's going to run for every 10 seconds now if i run the same command to get let's see this is the current value we have so this is going to run for every 10 seconds now if i query this right you would be seeing like this value gets getting it this value will get changed quite frequently like initially it was for one minute now you can see within 10 seconds it did another scan okay maybe for our testing purpose let's let me try to do one more insert okay this uh, got inserted at 1947 36 seconds okay now let me go here 46 this scan was done at so you can see basically like when the scans are happening and uh, what is that index which is getting called all these details you can see here so in the logs if you enable verbose logs okay so now you could see like you see the count how far it is increasing so though like whenever i run that's what it is going to print the current value now let me go and check this so i don't see anything so since we have increased the frequency we can see the cleanup happening at much more faster rate okay so that is how like you can troubleshoot like there are chances you might face issues with uh, TTL thread not working as expected and there are chances you could also disable this okay so there is a startup parameter also which can be used to disable this TTL index also or if you have any sort of HA configured and if you are having any issues with that, that could also affect this behavior. Okay. Um, so that's all I had for this video. Maybe in the upcoming sessions, I'm going to talk about more about like indexes, how you can view the execution plan, what kind of indexes you could create, those things we are going to see. So let's see you can expect more videos on this uh, mongodb administration once the indexes are covered maybe then we can talk about backup and restore security then we can move on to ha and other things okay so that's all guys so that's it for now i hope you liked it and uh, i mean the troubleshooting was completely unexpected i thought the demo is going to be fine going to go fine but uh, it's good like uh, we were also able to do a troubleshooting and uh, you got to learn new commands which you could use for troubleshooting okay so i hope you liked it so do please do let me know the feedback on the comment section and uh, that's all guys thank you bye